Hello everyone, this is AG47 Liberty, and I'm going to talk to you today about beer can philosophy. Alright, here's my beer. Happy New Year, everyone. My philosophy is going to center around liberty. And no matter how, what you call it, you call it Bira, Turkish for beer, beer, English, cerveza, Espanol, Piva, Russian, or many Slavic languages, Bira, Italiano, and Bia, Deutsch, they all mean the same thing. Alright, just like the same thing as a rose is a rose, if called by a different name. That's why a beer is a beer, even if called by a different name. So, liberty is liberty, even if called by a different name. So, I'm going to call this Beer Cam Philosophy. And, so anyway, let me get started on my Beer Cam Philosophy. The, my Beer Cam Philosophy is, human nature is to do the least effort for the maximum return on that effort. So, even though I love Alex Jones and all the others like him, but their efforts are in vain. Alright, it, it will come to naught. Even if everything they preach about comes to pass, I mean, they, they are able to set up a government. Even if they're the ones setting it up, I guarantee you, within a generation or less, that government will become tyrannical. It will not be what they had envisioned it to be. It is just not. It has a monopoly on force, and it will use that force because that's part of human nature. Whatever law or whatever it is, it will be used to its maximum extent. Okay, so just think about it. These guys, those in government, let us say the dreams of Alex Jones are fulfilled. They set up their government. It will turn out the same. Think of the French Revolution, where they went around for years. They pulled out their guillotines, they cut people's heads off for not doing what they were supposed to be doing. Alright, let's fast forward to now. What are, the, what are the French people doing? They're being ripped off by the same government they use a, gui they, they use a guillotine on. They got rid of the whole old order with their guillotine. And still, that same government is not only as bad, it is probably worse than the one that they guillotined. So what's going to happen there is, don't worry, the French still have their guillotine. They just haven't been fed up enough. Once they get fed up enough, in other words, there's not enough food around, they're going to pull their guillotines back out. They, they, you know, the French may not have guns, but they sure do have guillotines, and they'll pull them out. Well, the Americans use their guns as guillotines. Even if we were to turn around and we force these people out and, and let's say we kill them all. The new people we put in in there, put in the government, if we decide to set up a government, they'll turn around and do the exact same thing that the people that they just put to death. Guaranteed. All throughout history this happens every single time. We can even take our revolution as an example. George Washington raised an army to quell the Whiskey Rebellion because he's taxing whiskey illegally. Yes, yeah, that's what they was called the Whiskey Rebellion. He was about to hang somebody when he was reminded about what they fought the revolution for and how illegal it was in the Constitution. So he just packed, he let the guy go. He's going to make that guy an example. So he let him go and he marched back. But there was a guy who fought in, who fought, who fought a war he was a leader of the army that deposed this uh, other government and designed to free us from heavy taxation. And there he was, turned around doing it again. Turned right around and did it again. So now we fast forward to today. Are we better or worse off than before the revolution? I say we are worse off. And um, that's my beer camp philosophy for the day is right there. Cheers. And no matter what government you set up, it's all going to uh, denigrate and de-evolve into its worst possible uh, manifestation. And what I, my big question is, why even have a government? 
So, for example, what I just said is, when I first started this, was human nature is to do the least effort for the maximum return. I don't want to stand over these guys and, and uh, like a nanny and nitpick everything that these people do. Follow them. I mean, that's a lot of effort out of my day. I'd rather be doing other things like drinking beer or making beer. How about that? Being productive. Doing something productive where I produce things that are good for not only me, but for mankind in general. But if I have to sit there and stand over a bunch of liar and thieves that always get in the government, then I am no longer productive. And those in government will still will arrest me for watching over them and I'm in jail and it's all for naught. And they will still rape and pillage you and it, it just doesn't matter. So my, let's do the least amount of effort for the maximum return. Let's not set up government. That's the least amount of effort. And let's keep our, the fruits of our labors and not being in fear of being ever thrown in jail. All right? So, and we get to keep the fruits of our labors and become wealthy and help our fellow man in the process. All because we don't set up a government. Remember, government is, is only an experiment. Let's end the experiment.